Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on the channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to look at how to use ArcGIS Pro to convert um, raster to vector. Right? Good. Now, we have um, a land use land cover data that um, was um, downloaded from that was downloaded from S3, right? Good now. So this is Sentinel 2 10 meter land use land cover time series of the world. And then um, this is description. Perhaps we are going to leave a link on the description section so that you can assess it. Now, the reason why we are trying to show you this page is that um, we want to show you the different classes. We have value 1 that um, represents water, 2 that represents 3, 4 that represents um, flooded vegetation, five that represent crops seven for built up and rest of that now coming back to our ArcGIS pro um, we have clipped it to the extent of um, river state yeah we clipped it to the boundary of river state and then you can see the different classes from one down to eleven right good that represents um, different land use or land cover right good now we want to convert this raster to the individual what or discrete values now let's come to our note now in gis polygonize refers to the process of converting raster raster data or other vector data into polygon right good vector data types into polygon now this um, operation is commonly used when you want to represent a continuous or categorical information as a polygon feature with distinct boundaries now this is where the emphasis lies continuous or categorical information now you can see from s3 that um, we have different categories in water trees flooded vegetation and the rest of that so we want to now show you these the extent of each of those features by converting this raster to what to vector so that is the essence of today's tutorial so we come down to tools and then we search for raster to polygon right Good. So we have the raster to polygon here. It converts a raster data set to polygon features. And then our input raster will definitely be what this um, reverse.tif. And then the field it uses. Now there's another part of it that um, the digital numbers in the raster image are used to represent various type of information depending on the type of sensor and the specific application right good now for example in a multispectral satellite image dn can represent the reflectance value of different spectral bands allowing you to distinguish between land cover types monitor vegetation and perform other types of um, image analysis right good now the reason why we came back here okay in the context of raster data especially remote sensing dn which digital number dn which stands for digital number so it refers to the discrete numeric values that represent the pixel intensity or arithmetic value um, of each cell or pixel in a raster image, right? So now, this DN is actually very important. So we are using what the value which um, we can see. Then for the output um, polygon facial class, we browse. Good, so we have navigated to the folder where we want to store the vector data. So we call this um, ROIV. That represents what um, River State, right? Good, so we save. So we are simplifying the polygon. Remember to always use the information to understand what each of these um, tool or options represent, right? Good, or the different parameters. So you can decide to keep it checked or unchecked depending on what you want to achieve as it has been described using what this um, information right but so simplify polygons will be checked this is optional so we can now run good so we have a success report and then the conversion is complete we can put this out so put this out and then um, we can now see what the vector data right good so if we right click try to see the attribute table we are going to see some information about the different classes that have been what that them have been classified good so now the grid code represents what um, the different classes as we have from 1 to 11 as we saw on um, s3 site right good so one represents water trees flooded um, vegetation crops built up area background and the rest of that 
so that's what um, this um each of these um grid code values represent so if it is one you know that um it is water if it is true you know that it's uh, if it is two rather you know it's trees if it is four um flooded vegetation five crops and then if it is eleven it's what um range land right good so that is how it has been converted to um polygon so now at this point you can decide to um calculate the area of um each of those polygons maybe for built up area maybe for flooded vegetation maybe for crops and you know for whatever the case is so we are trying to select this particular one and then zoom to selection so this is where it falls right good in the polygons that have been created so we try to zoom in we are going to see okay somewhere around there and then 11 what does 11 represent from rangeland right good so maybe if we try to put it out also put this one out we can see from the base map that we are using for validation because the base map can help us for validation if it is actually what a rangeland now let us before we end to this tutorial let us see if we can just um, validate a few things let us say we are looking for water right good water is one so let's zoom to one okay clear selection let's zoom to one a set of ones right good so now zoom to selection we can see a set of ones if we put this out you can see that there is a bluish what um, coloration which indicates what um, water body and then you can also see from the base map that there is a water body here so this is a means of um, validating whatever you have on your land use land cover and then also the vector that has been extracted so that when you want to carry out your estimation to know how much of land cover how much of water in the land and how much of the different classes that uh, we have here trees flooded vegetation you can have um, a better perspective of what your estimation so thanks for coming to class we hope um, we have shown you on ArcGIS pro how to convert um, raster to vector and then also seeing what the different classes as it was provided in the land use land cover data that we used so we are going to see you on the next tutorial remember you can always um, calculate the different um, areas and you know other statistics right good so we'll see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye